Welcome back. This is right. I didn't mean to do this to be forced to do this again so soon, but uh, I kind of got uh, left my equipment for what I wanted to record today. I left that at home, and I'm not home at the moment. So I got some more Street Fighter lined up. Um, these are this is a match I actually did like about 30 minutes ago. Uh, this was the best match I got to find. I started out with just the usual like mindless stuff to begin. I tried to frame trap him, but as you can see by the inputs, I did it too early every time. But he's late teching everything, but I never actually catch on to this. Um, I play a fireball game, I jump. This guy doesn't seem to anti-air ever, and that kind of kills him. Anti-airing is very important in this matchup, because it can kind of change everything. That's a basic jab conversion. I catch him teching, which I had no idea if it was going to work actually, but it just happened to. I tried to Kara throw, and again, I was actually trying to see if I could beat out a normal he stuck out there, and he stuck out a fireball instead, which beat anything I did. So, here he's gonna, he gets me knocked down, and then does this. I don't know why, but it works, so I'm playing neutral game, he knocks me down and in, he goes for the same thing, but he messes it up, because I assume he hits the buttons too early, and if you look at his inputs, it's kind of all over the place, left and right, and you can't do that when you're doing the uppercut, you've got to believe, unless you're mashing it along the down. And again, he doesn't anti-air me there when I jump again. I catch him sweep, and he is mashing for his life, and so am I, but I was been combo, so it makes sense. So, he's teching again, and I somehow never catch him. Uh, I guess I need to make these a bit later. He was mashing there, and I meant to convert that, but I didn't. So, let's see. I ca He actually doesn't... Uh, cancel that, which was kind of surprising, that was kind of thing of that word, playing a fireball game here again, he knocks me down, and he goes for the exact same thing, except this time it was an EX for the second meter, and kind of kills himself there, like, he panicked, and the one time I anti-aired him was right there, that's important, you always want to anti-air, anti-airing will make or break a lot of matchups with Ken. This replay is titled, um, The Power of Conversion, basically saying what Kens need to do to be a better Ken. And, uh, ooh, this is, uh, frame rate, whatever. So, yeah, so we're starting it. It's Kuki Online, and I'm trying to catch him sticking out normals in the beginning. This is a very risky strategy, and it only really works online, though it's hard to punish, so it's not the dumbest thing in the world. And there, he totally just smacks me for a decent combo. I catch him. I forgot you can't use the standing jab on Yang, so I kind of whiffed a combo there. He somehow didn't take that, even though like he's clearly tried. Uh, I don't know how it didn't work. I was mashing there, he caught me again. This dude is totally like bopping me. And again, he catches me sticking out buttons, and get the sweep, and he gets the autocorrect DP. So, he clearly, like, it seems like he knows his matchup to a degree where he can at least, like, start frame trapping with his normals, which is pretty good, like, distance and specific wise, so, oh god, steam, why? So, he, he again catches me, I catch him finally with something, though I accidentally uh, went back on reaction, so, or not on reaction, I didn't do it on reaction, I just went back naturally, he again gets his little racket combos. Yang sucks in 2012. Like, he can be played good by good people, but like, if you ain't that, then it, god, his damage is so low. I... similar to Ken, I'd say, personally. Not... it's way worse than Ken, though. And mashing it out. I was fairly confident he was going to be chipped out by that. Uh, you only actually get the true chip in Ken Super only is from the first of the two uppercuts. You can actually like mash stuff in between, and the second uppercut is twice as much chip as the first one. So, yeah, you want to if you have something invincible, you want to do something. I missed the conversion there, and so he just bops me. So we get the jump in, and again, that was just jab conversion into uppercut, which is very important for Ken because it turns all your jabs into something you know like a at least a soft knockdown setup. I thought he was going to grab there, so I just went for it. He whiff punishes my step kick, but I didn't even catch on to that. Like, I don't even pay attention to that at all. 
He tried to go for a reset, so I started mashing, and I just meaty uppercut him. F your buttons. Actually, no, it looks like he was holding down. He just didn't block. That sucks for him. I don't know why he did that, but he probably was really mad about losing that because it felt like he was blocking. So let's get another one. Okay, this match is called Don't Taunt Ever. Uh, I'm definitely one of those people who plays a thousand percent more serious when someone starts being a douche with their taunts. Like, it's not like Smash where you can just throw it out. Like, you have to, like, find space and time to do it, and it means a lot more. So, this matchup sucks for Ken. It's not, like, unwinnable or anything. I'd say it's an easy 6 4 for Geef, just because, like, God. The range where you have to play Geef to be effective is right where you want to play footsies with him. And his ground footsies are way better than yours. And he also demolishes your projectiles as he saw a few seconds ago. Like with relative ease. So, I'm over here. I don't know how I got that overhead. I'm trying to keep him out as much as possible. Step kicking is about at max range. is probably going to be like a lot of damage you can get just because... Okay, there we go. Got the punish. And then, I'm seriously waiting for him to do something here that I can punish, and there we go. I don't know why he used meter, but, yeah. So, yeah, you can see how much, that PP was, this was right when I was trying to learn uh, Chun-Li, actually. So, here we are, still playing, and I'm just taking all these hits to the face, to the dome. He has to be careful about some of that standing medium kick. I could have converted off that, but it's so hard to react. So... I finally get a Kara throw. I don't go for the unblockable setup because it's risky. I only do that to like noob geefs and god I hate that when I run into his buttons but that's something you gotta deal with. And again he gets me and there we go get that sweep to beat that. Uh, I don't know what I have no idea how this match goes again but if I get the overhead then it's like oh yeah don't yeah never ever. I was waiting for that. Like, there was no re even reason to taunt there. Like, this is you look like an idiot. So, I got one last match to, to pull up, and let's see what it is. Funnily enough, this match is titled "Still Don't Taunt." I imagine the implications are obvious. Uh, the answer lies in the heart of battle. So this guy is much, much better. Uh, oh, I remember this fight. Okay, this guy, he is a weirdo. Um, he's like waiting for a specific tactic. And that tactic in this match is walking back and anti-airing with fireball. But it's kind of, it seems like a weird tactic because Ken can't cover this ground space super quickly without putting himself at risk. And Yeah, like, why would you do that? And I missed the jab conversion. And he gets again the throw. And this is just spacing. I finally got out. I dropped the combo again. And he's playing the very precise spacing game, but he's not anti airing, surprisingly. And for all those techs that he did there, he sure didn't get anything. And he teched after every hit, even the Shoryuken. It's kind of weird. I don't catch on that this guy techs everything, but that's because I land hits, so. We're just trying to stick, stick him. And we get that mashed DP in, because that's how we do. I think I don't know what he was trying to do, look basing off those inputs. So let's go to the next round. Real quick. I'll just make this video kinda of short. So he gets the fireball, and again, a jump. Neither of us are anti-airing each other. But again, he's trying for this weird uh, anti-air fireball thing, so I just start waiting till he throws it and then jumping. And I tried to do a tech, but I accidentally missed the buttons, as you see there. Did, whatever. And again, I'm just step kicking because this guy seems to not be doing much about it. And again, he doesn't even anti-air, so, like, if you block a jump and attack with Ryu or Ken, you could've done a Shoryuken instead. And again, I'm just slowly going down the field, and he's teching at, like, a very fast speed that doesn't actually work. Like, you have to use relative timing with it. So, I slowly just start walking him down the field, because there's nothing really else for me to do. Because, again, this guy's just wanting to jump back at everything, and I don't know why. And he lands the jumping, and I just got lucky. I 
I actually think no, I remember this match vaguely enough. I remember I saw that he did something. The fact that it worked was a miracle, and he didn't recover quickly. But I saw movement, so I, I just flung it out. So, yeah. Don't taunt. Don't be a douche. That's about all I gotta say. So, I'm just probably just gonna black out the screen here. Um, again, I meant to have my equipment here ready. I literally, I'm missing a nunchuck for my Wiimote. Hint, hint. But, uh, it's not actually a hint of a specific game, but... Yeah, that's why I am currently not able to do anything besides this. So I'm going to try to see if I can find something else tomorrow to start. So I'll see all y'all next time.